an older gentleman put, like pops his head through the door and he's like, yes. And I instantly, like my stomach just sunk to my butt. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Um, I've had a ton of requests lately about me doing some more sit down videos and recently I have went and had my eyelash. Um, I actually got eyelash extensions so I figured I'd sit down and go ahead and tell you guys pretty much my crazy story and um, experience for my first time getting eyelash extensions. So before I get started, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like any part of it and also don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you are new to the family. Okay guys, so like I said, I've had a ton of feedback asking for more videos um, of me sitting down, talking, baby hauls, um, makeup videos, stuff like that. And I thought what better video to do right now than um, tell you guys about my experience of getting eyelash extensions. Um, so honestly, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I wanted to get eyelash extensions. With having twins, I have lost so much time uh, for myself, like my makeup routine, which I don't really do makeup at all. I'm not a makeup guru. I pretty much just, you know, throw some cover up on, uh, do my brows and mascara, and I call it a day. Um, but even with just doing that, I've lost a ton of time um, taking care of the twins, so I don't have much time to get ready anymore. Um, it's even hard to shower and just do my whole routine, so I figured what better way to cut some time than um, to get some fake lashes or lash extensions. That way I don't have to sit there and put on mascara every day and I can still feel, you know, beautiful and like glowing and stuff like that because honestly self-care is still really important even after having kids. Okay, so honestly, um, in the beginning I was very skeptical on if I wanted to get lash extensions. Um, I didn't know much about it. I've just seen pictures of before and after and I was kind of like in love with the results um, but I didn't know if it would affect my real lashes, um, how long it would last, how much it costs or anything like that. So I was very skeptical on if I wanted to do something like that especially for um, if I didn't like it, like how it would work with me getting them removed um, because I've never even wore fake lashes like how some people wear um, the ones that come in like a strip already and you put the glue and then set it on top of your eyelid. I honestly have never even done that. I have decently long eyelashes um, and I have a lot of eyelashes I guess apparently according to the eyelash tech. Um, but I just, they're never full enough for me. I like them really long and like really thick and black, um, especially when I have my hair uh, black as well or like darker brown. I just feel like a dark eyelash um, looks better with it. I've never even wore fake lashes. I normally just do a ton of mascara and um, so I was really sketchy on if I wanted to do something not permanent but like semi-permanent where I'd have to actually go um, back to the eyelash tech to get them removed if I didn't like them and that was not really something like that's awkward so I was like wanted to make sure I really wanted to do this before I put my time um, and money into it and especially someone else's time so I made a poll on Instagram um, and if you don't follow me on Instagram go ahead and follow me uh, my Instagram is just my name Autumn Nemeth um, and you can see all my stories I post frequently, especially about the babies and stuff like that in different polls, um, such as the eyelash poll I just made uh, recently. So I asked for recommendations from people on my Instagram um, for lash techs. I got about four or five different recommendations, um, and there was a couple that were duplicates, so I definitely checked them out first. Um, I figured the more people I had on my gram that um, went to the same person, they had to be good and had to know what they were doing. Um, it was important for me that I had someone that was certified, um, because I don't want anyone just you know practicing or um, not taking like the sanitary uh, protocol that they should um, especially with like something around your eyes and stuff like that 
So for someone to be certified was a big deal for me. Um, and it being my first time, I want someone to know what they were doing, especially because I have no idea what I'm talking about with lashes. So the recommendation I ended up going with, her name is Alyssa. I will also go ahead and link um, her Instagram in the uh, bio below. So let me get down to the crazy story of how I even got to her house because, oh my goodness. Um, so let me start from saying that um, who recommended me was not someone I knew personally. Um, like I saw them face to face before. It was just a, a girl I know that we sell the same hair products, um, naturally based. And we talked over social media and group chats, um, but never seen each other in person. Um, so when she recommended me, um, I reached out to Alyssa, the eyelash tech. And she went through everything. She said, gave me her address, and she said uh, just to come to the back door, or the side door when I got there. So I head that way, and I actually ended up being early. So I'm sitting there. I found the address, which I thought was the correct address. So when my GPS was going and I pulled down the street, it's like your destination is on your left. And mind you, at this time, it was around 8 o'clock at night, so it was already getting dark, and I could barely see the addresses on the houses. So, the one that I see is t and just, I don't know if it was because I was tired or, like, it was just so similar. I'm like, oh, that's it, even though it was 1096. And so I park, and I'm, like, really sketchy. I even sent my mom and my boyfriend both my locations just because I didn't know who I was going to meet. Um, it was at a house, and I was just super nervous. Um, so I was like, here's my location just in case. Like, because you never know what could happen. And um, I'm like, this house is just, like, really dark, and there was no lights on at all in the house and I'm like I am 10 minutes early maybe she didn't turn the lights on yet maybe she's not home yet maybe she went to go do an errand and she's coming home like at 8 o'clock or something I don't know but I decided to go up to the door the side door and luckily there was no gate so I was just able to go straight to the side door without having to go through a gate or anything like that and I knock on the door and I'm waiting, it's like super windy, it's dark. Um, I was already nervous to get my lashes done for one and to meet this person because it's intimidating to go meet someone, you know, that you've only talked to on social media or you have not seen a person. Like, it's just intimidating in general. An older gentleman put, like, pops his head through the door and he's like, yes. And I instantly, like, my stomach just sunk to my butt because I'm like, okay like something's not right and my like first thought was one I like I'm nervous because I I didn't know the girl um that recommended me to this lady and I'm like what if she set me up like <laughs> I don't know why that was just my first thought I was really nervous and then two I'm like I can't walk away now or like run or do anything because I don't know this person like maybe they'll just I don't know, try and take me or something. I don't know. I was just like super paranoid. And so I go, um, I'm really sorry. Um, I may be at the wrong place, but I'm here for eyelash extensions. And he's like, for what? And I'm like, eyelash extensions. And it was like an awkward pause in between us talking. So it was like really weird. I'm like, maybe he has someone else like around the corner that is just waiting for me to walk away and like snatch me up or something like that. All these thoughts are going through my head and I was just being super paranoid. And he goes, you're at the wrong place. So he was kind of rude, but I was like, you know what? Okay. Like I'm out, whatever. And I just walked back to my car. I was like, slow like fast walking like not like running but like you know walking super fast because I was just like ready to get out of there I was kind of scared not gonna lie and I get back in my car I'm looking at all the houses and I'm like well the house next to him has the light from like the porch on so I'm like maybe it's that one so I like walk up and I see it's and I'm like oh my gosh like I literally went to the wrong house and I don't know if anyone has seen um, Don't Breathe, the movie. No, you see what I see. <sighs> but that's exactly how it felt. Like, I felt like that whole situation was going to occur from me going to this guy's house because he was so mad. 
and it was dark and scary and it was just a bad time at first and I was just like oh my god maybe I'm not meant to get lashes like maybe this is all gonna turn out terrible I don't know so I ended up going to the right house which is his neighbor and the lights on I'm like this seems much more normal like I can deal with this and I knock on the side door again and then Alyssa my lash tech answers and mind you I've never met her before my first words are your neighbor hates me and then I just tell her the story and she just starts laughing and I'm like still shaking because for when I'm still meeting someone I don't know but I'm like venting to her because I would just like almost pee my pants from being scared that her neighbor was gonna take me. I ended up getting my lashes done and it was a crazy experience. I didn't get taken and I think my lashes look pretty good. I will honestly keep them up. Um, I've only had them for like two days now and I haven't worn mascara obviously um, and I just love them. I don't know. The whole story and like the scare was all worth it to me. Lesson learned, I know where her house is now, so that won't happen again, um, but just a tip, make sure you have the right address before you go knocking on someone's door, especially at nighttime, because you never know. So that is my story um, of me getting lash extensions for the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed my little story and my little scare. Um, it was honestly worth it. I'm okay, so it was all great. Um, it's funny to look back on now, but I think my lashes turned out great. I think Alyssa is an amazing lash tech. Like I said, I will go ahead and link her Instagram in the bio below. Um, so if anyone's interested in the Down River, Michigan area, definitely go ahead and check her out. She's only been doing it for less than a year, but I swear her work is like she's been doing it for a long time. She's very um, into her detail, making sure everything is perfect. She's such a perfectionist. So like I said, I will go ahead and link that below. Um, I plan to do a uh, what's in my makeup bag, even though I don't go crazy with makeup that has been requested. So be on the lookout for that coming up very soon within the next week or so. Um, and yeah, with all that being said and all that being done, AT bye. Yeah.